In this video, we'll answer the question whether XeCl4, this is xenon tetrachloride, is polar or nonpolar. So first off, a few things that are kind of strange here. Xenon has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 valence electrons. It exceeds the octet. But that's okay. Xenon can have an expanded octet. The second thing is xenon's a noble gas, and we don't usually think of noble gases as forming chemical bonds. In certain circumstances, some of the noble gases will form chemical bonds. So this xenon tetrachloride, it's a real structure. So to figure out whether this XeCl4 is polar or nonpolar, let's look at the individual bonds. So let's look at the bond between the xenon and the chlorine, see what the electronegativity difference is. So this periodic table here has noble gases listed with their electronegativity values for the ones that form chemical bonds. Here's our xenon, 2.6, and chlorine right here, 3.16. So that's a difference that's greater than 0.5. That's going to be a polar bond, the bond between the xenon and the chlorine, polar bond. Back to our Lewis structure. So each of these bonds here between the xenon and the chlorine those bonds are considered polar bonds, polar covalent bonds. But what about the molecule overall? We really need to look at the molecular geometry to understand that. So the purple, that'll be our central xenon atom. Let's add four chlorine atoms. One, two, you see they're spreading out. Three, four, they spread out into this tetrahedral shape. But we have to remember those two lone pairs. So let's add the lone pairs. One, still spreading out, two, and what we end up with is something called a square planar molecular geometry. You can see that these chlorine atoms, they're all in a plane with the lone pairs. They're in the top and the bottom. Since this isn't a plane, this is a symmetrical molecule, all of the dipoles are going to cancel out. So we have electronegativity difference between the chlorine and the xenon, each one of these, but they're all in opposite directions. So they cancel out. Net dipole is zero. Xenon tetrachloride that's a nonpolar molecule. Let's go back to our Lewis structure again. So even though in this bond here between xenon and the chlorines, it's polar and the electrons will spend more time with the chlorine, each one of these bonds has that happening and it's symmetrical. When we looked at the molecular geometry, so they cancel out net dipole for the whole molecule, zero, and the xenon tetrachloride molecule is nonpolar. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.